school history. He's taken the Owls to six national tournaments and led Kennesaw State to the 1994 NAIA National Championship and to the 1996 Division 10C Division II National Championship. In 26 years of coaching, he has 984 career wins and enters the Tallahassee Regional just 16 short of 1,000 for his career. Uh, continuing a season of first for Kennesaw State, the Owls are appearing in the first Division I Regional Championship and entered the Tallahassee Region as a nationally national ranked program for the first time in school history. Coach? All right, th thank you and uh, appreciate everybody being here. It's a uh, uh, great honor for us to be here, of course, and what Florida State does in the city of Tallahassee is uh, already evident. We've had some, uh, some great hotel deals and uh, we're excited about the, uh, the tournament, a little bit about our team. And if you track it a little bit, you'll see it was a, kind of a two, two seasons within one. Um, we started out um, bad and got worse at times. Um, and then we seemed to kick there in the second half of the season. Um, you know, you can look at it from why it happened and how, you know, how it developed and so forth. But I think if you looked at the numbers, um, defensively we were uh, a suspect club throughout the first half, um, gave up a lot of, uh, instead of 27 outs, we were giving up 31 and 32 a game. But we, we felt like we improved in that area. Our hitting has improved the second half, uh, our pitching. So I think that's kind of been the tale of our season where you have seen um, some, some interesting numbers as you look at our record. Um, we've got a uh, pretty experienced bunch of guys catcher, most of you know Max Pentecost, an um, unbelievable year, and player of the year in the A-Sun, All-American, and uh, he's been a, been a guy we've you know, kind of jumped on his back this season, and he's carried us for sure. Um, Pitching-wise, we've got a combination of starters. Um, Travis Bergen will be our starter for tomorrow. Um, we feel like uh, our strength is a little bit in our back end of our bullpen. Got some guys there who are in the 30 game, um, you know, throughout this. I think one has 30 appearances, maybe one at 35. So we use those guys in the back end for sure. Um, we count on them. It's nice to have them, you know, that you can go to. Take questions, please. Mike, how, how confident is your team? I mean, 23, 24. I don't know. There's a lot of teams that come in as hot as that. Sure. How confident are you guys? Well, I think we're pretty confident. I think, uh, you know, wins will make you confident. Um, playing well makes you confident. And uh, we, we definitely, we, you know, not all those wins were, were great games. I can assure you that. But I think in the guys' minds, they were. And uh, you know, just that the, the, uh, the last six weeks has been, you know, I think everybody from our, you know, sports information to our trainers to our coaches feel good, you know, when we go out there. So. Um, to answer your question, we're, we are confident, and um, you know, I think some of that just, just simply comes from, from the winners. Mike, how did the recruitment of Max go? When, you, when did you first see him, and did you foresee <coughs> this happening? Um, it, the recruitment started really early with Max. Um, I think he was, came over, was playing at a tournament. Um, we saw him early in the 10th grader. Got in touch, talked to him. He's like, "Yep, that's what I want to do." You know, I like this. I like the campus. Um, it was close to home for him. And it really wasn't a tough recruiting process. And, you know, again, he was you know, maybe 15 or 16 at the time, so it's, it's kind of crazy. But uh, um, and Max never wavered. You know, and coming to Kansas, he always uh, uh, was committed to us. Did we think we were going to get him? Probably not. You know, it was a seventh round selection with the Rangers. Um, had a good, really good offer. Last minute, you know, he said he's come to school, so we're, uh, you know, we're obviously we were delighted, excited, and thankful. 